it is she and welcome back to my channel as you can see i'm in a new environment a little new setup i just want to do something different really quick just kind of come just in my living space and not so much in my studio and just record because today i'm doing a hair tutorial and i just want a little more elbow room i feel like i needed more space to kind of move about um so i recently did my big chop for the fourth time yes for the fourth time and um, i'm feeling it i'm feeling it right now i just been kind of rocking the puff but i have a vacation coming up and i didn't want to do anything drastic but i did want to do like some clip-ins so i was online i was researching looking for some clip-ins you know to see um what i could find that kind of matched my neck my natural hair texture and honestly clippings are expensive you know they, they, they're pretty pricey um and so i just happened to say you know what i just kind of want to test some stuff out to see if i actually like it how I, how I feel about it so i went on amazon and i actually found a slew of clippings for very 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 cheap reasonable prices so i came across this one company and um they had amazing reviews they had a lot of lot a lot of orders so i said i want to go ahead and give them a try and then do a review on them to see if they are of quality how they hold up how they blend all of that good stuff and i figured why not go ahead and just sit in front of the camera and record this for you guys in case you guys are looking for some affordable clip-ins for your natural hair so um yeah online it looked amazing the reviews looked amazing the hair came in and it actually feels so 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 soft so this is the actual hair i actually ordered two um two bundles and I'm going to be putting them in in a second just so you can kind of see how they blend. I ordered two bundles and the natural texture and I actually went ahead and opened um, one of them and I actually dyed it to see how it would take color and if it would make it all hard and crunchy but um, because it comes as a really really natural kind of like soft brown and uh, I recently dyed my hair kind of um, black like off black so I went ahead and dyed this bundle. Um, and it's still super soft and it's still um, held up, but I wanna get into that in a second. But this is how the actual hair comes. It comes in this really, really cute box. The name of the company is Amazing Beauty Hair Extensions. Um, and then back it has a cute little um, little quote that says, invest in your hair, it is the crown you never take off. And then on this side it has the, let me see if that'll zoom in so you can see, but it has the, um, it's not it's not focusing um but it has the type of hair so i got the abh kinky curly clip-ins and i got a 18 inch and a 16 inch this one is the 16 inch just i just um dyed it and washed it. this is what it looks like and then the one that i have not unboxed yet is the 18 inch so when you get the box it comes packaged really well and you open it up and then there is the hair in a nice little protected bag and then inside the box they actually give you some goodies so in here it comes with two additional clips it comes with um just a little clamp to hold your hair back it actually comes with a really really nice wide tooth comb which i love the other one that came in the other box was a lime green so you get this in every box and then it just has like a little thank you card and a little note and a little bit about the company so that is how the hair comes packaged so again this is the bundle and on here lets you know the the type of the hair the length of the hair this is the 18 inch and this one i have not opened but i do need to dye and then it comes with a protective net over it so let's take that off so that you can see it and i don't know if you can you probably can't pick up the color but it is like a very unflattering brown so you're gonna have to color it some way unless your hair is this really soft brown but i don't really like the brown but this is the bundle this is how it comes bundled and then it comes with seven pieces which is standard for a set of clip-ins i find that most clip-ins come with seven and again, this is the 18 inch. Once you wash it, you'll notice that it will drop some. So this was the 16 inch and I washed it. This is the 18 inch completely unwashed, just straight out of the package. And as you can see, like it blooms, it really fills out. The curls are amazing. It's super, super bouncy. So, so far I am super, super, super impressed with how it looks right now and how it feels. It's so soft. Um, you're definitely gonna want to co-wash it because it just comes in those very kind of defined ringlets that don't really look, um, it don't really look super natural um but then once you co-wash it's just a beautiful 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 curl so um in here you get again seven clips so i have um one one clip as you can see it's just one little one clip it comes with 
two, I'm sorry, three of the two clips, clip-ins, and it comes with two of the three clip clip-ins, and then it comes with one large four clip clip-in. And they are double wefted, so they are super, super, super thick. If you have finer hair or a smaller head, I think you can get away with just one pack. Or if you don't like really, really big hair, I love big hair, so I knew I was gonna definitely want to use two, um, two set of clip-ins, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna need all two, but we'll see, we'll see. So again, I think one would do your head if you just wanna kinda add two, but if you want like a full, um, voluminous look i think that you would i would probably need the full two sets but again we're gonna see so this is my natural hair just kind of i washed it last night didn't do anything to it didn't put any product in it um didn't define the curls or anything like that it's literally just kind of straight straight um out of the shower and it's completely dry right now so what i'm about to do is go and dye this um this bundle jet black like i did the others and then i'm going to uh wet my hair and then i'm going to go ahead and install the clip-ins and define my hair within the clip-ins so i will be right back but stay tuned i am super 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 excited because i mean just looking at these they're i mean they're pretty much my hair hair texture dead on so i'm super excited i cannot wait to see how these turn out all right, so I just finished washing the 18 inch dyeing and all that good stuff. Just let it dry for a little bit. It's not completely dry, but it's good to go. And I went ahead and wet my hair and sectioned it off so that it's easier to um, style and get um, these clippings in. And just an FYI, when I was dyeing it, it did shed a little bit, but definitely nothing too crazy. I mean, this is literally all that came out once I dyed it and combed through it. So I think that they are constructed really, really well. But one thing I will note is that I did notice that there's only like three stitches that's attaching the clip to the extension. So hopefully that's not an issue. But let's go ahead and get started. So you're definitely gonna need your dimming brush or whatever you use to uh, kind of detangle and, and, and define your hair. And then I am just gonna use some Eco Styler as my styler and my definer. The one with the red cap is like my absolute go-to. It really makes my curls pop. Um, and the only thing that I put on my hair was some leave-in and a little bit of oil to make sure that it is moisturized before putting the gel on it. So I am actually gonna start with my back section here. And again, I just wet it. I'm gonna go ahead and start to section it off. So you can see how short my hair is, being that I just cut it. I'm gonna section it off and then start with the um, 18 inch on bottom and then go for the shorter on top. Now, if you want a more shorter, fuller look, I would say do the shorter on bottom and then the longer on top. But I want it to have a little bit of length, so I'm gonna put the 18 inch on top. So first, I'm just going to section off just a portion of my hair here in the back and then clip away the rest. I'm gonna start with my two clips of 18 inch in the back and then again, it's just a small section. So first I'm gonna section it off and then I'm going to go in with my gel, get a good amount of that and then just go ahead and rake that onto my hair. And then I'm just going to rake my dimming brush through it to again, make sure the product is all the way through. And as you can see, my curls are starting to develop. But again, I'll show you better once we get to the front. So I'm just gonna take one of my two clips and then I'm going to pop those open. They seem to be very, very sturdy, which is a good thing. And then I'm just gonna stick it here. Stick it there. Stick it there. Clip, clip, and get it in there. Ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna do that all the way up and then once I get close to the front, I'll be right back. So this is where we are and we have only used uh, two of the two clips and two of the three clips from the 18 inch pack and it's already starting to look really really full. I mean this hair is absolutely gorgeous and it's super soft. Oh my gosh. 
and then I just washed it so it smells amazing. So now we're gonna start moving towards the front now that I am onto the um, onto the fore clip. So I'm gonna just kind of go and part from ear to ear. And here you'll kind of be able to better see how I define my curls. I actually don't have to do a lot, fortunately, to get my curls to define. That Eco Styler really does do the trick for me. So whatever your styler of choice is to kind of get your hair um, where you need it, and I would definitely suggest trying to get um, a texture that is closest to um, your natural hair texture as possible. Um, and that just make the um, the defining and the blending process easier. So again, I just take some of my Eco Styler and rake that through my hair, and it'll start to define up my curls. As you can see here, just kind of raking that through, and that just kind of get the curls kind of where they need to be. Then the same. Kind of rake that through. And as you can see, the fork clip isn't that long, so from here to here is where the fork clip is. And then I'm going to go in with my last two clip for the 18 inch to round that out. So um, maybe my hair, you know, is a little bigger than normal, but I typically expect the four clip to kind of go from ear to ear, but that one did not. It kind of fell a little short. So, um, that is, I only have the one clip left for the 18 inch, but this is the entire 18 inch, uh, bundle or clip in set in my head. That's all seven pieces. So now all I have to do is go in with the other bundle. Like I said, I knew I was going to need two bundles because I wanted that really, really full look. I'm going to go in with the other bundle and then I'm going to finish up and then I'll be right back. to the last two clip-ins and guys I am literally obsessing over this hair like look at this uh, it is so unbelievably gorgeous and with doing the two different um, links it just kind of naturally gives it like kind of that shape that natural shape that you want so I literally have like the whole hairdo in less than almost a couple minutes so I just went ahead and just kind of gelled um, this side is kind of where I'm gonna have my hair parted and then I'm just gelling and blending my hair in with the uh with the clip-ins and i only have two left so i'm about to have to get real creative with these next with these last two let's see i think i'm gonna kind of angle it here i could have definitely parted it um space it out a little bit more in the back i parted it kind of close in the back um so i might actually take one or two out from the back um, and then throw it in the front. We'll see. We'll see what I can what I can finesse real quick with what I got left. So again, just taking my gel, getting in there, and don't be, you know, don't be afraid of your gel. Get in there, get generous, you know, be liberal with gel, because it really does help blend and define. So I get in there with my gel, get in here with my clip. last one and then decide whether or not I need to start pulling from the back or if I can make this do what it do let's see I can really go for like 
two more one or two clip-ins because I use my little my little one clip-ins um, just because again I just like a lot a lot of hair so and then once it dries completely because right now everything's still kind of wet and then once it dries completely it's obviously going to continue to just get bigger and bigger so yeah I need like one more so okay let's see what we're gonna do we're gonna have to steal from the back I didn't want to get the very bottom just because that one's longer, but it's what's making the most sense right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend this last little piece and then I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and um, just gelled that little piece that was remaining. I just went ahead and just threw some gel on that and um, went ahead and just kind of raked it through with just a comb through the um, clip-ins and with my fingers to kind of blend that in. Only thing that's really left to do is to fleek our edges, honey. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dip my, dip, <laughs> dick. I'm gonna go ahead and dip my um, my edge two brushes in some of that same Eco Styler gel and just fleek these edges right fast. Cause you know, look, it's not complete without your edges being on fleek. <laughs> go ahead and you know, fleek this side too, just in case you get a good gust of wind. And then I am going to let this dry. And this, like, I'm literally, like, kind of shaking. Like, I'm obsessed with how well this turned out. Like, this is, like, a do. Like, it's a whole do. And I did this in, like, 20 minutes. Like, if I wasn't actually recording, I could get these clip-ins in in 20 minutes and be out the door. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick spin so you guys can see how it looks in the back. Hopefully, it doesn't look too atrocious. You can't really see back there. But again, once it dries, everything should meld together. Just wanna get bigger and bigger and just more gorgeous as the day goes by. So um, the price, really quick before I forget, the price of these clip-ins for the 18 inch, it was $82, I believe, and for the 16 inch, it was $72. So it's like $10 per it, um, per inch tier that you go up. Um, and again, I got these off Amazon. These are, this is Amazon hair. It's unbelievable. So I'm definitely, definitely going to leave the link below in the description box. I'm also gonna do like a follow-up maybe for six weeks just to see how they're holding up. I'm really hoping that these last, I have a cruise um, next month, I'm going to Cuba, and this is going to be absolutely just perfect for, for that cruise and just any um, summer vacation. Like, this is just vacation hair. And then I'm also going to probably do another video on how I style clip-ins because I love clip-ins, whether they're straight, whether they're curly, or whatever. Um, they're so versatile and there's just so many different things you can do. So I'm probably going to do a separate video of like how I style my clip-ins, like the multiple different styles you can do with these curly clip-ins. So y'all stay tuned for that. But y'all sign off in the comments. Let me know what you think if this is a look because honey, I already know it's a look, but y'all just let me know how y'all feel and what y'all think because I'm absolutely obsessed with it and I just can't wait for it to dry and just get even bigger than what it is. But I have somewhere to be. I am rushing out. Again, I'll make sure I leave everything in the description box because I'm pretty sure I forgot something. But love you dolls. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video.